Welcome to the introductory video of Fordiac IDE. The Fordiac IDE is a development environment to help design control software for automation systems based on the standard 1499. To begin with, I will define some of the most important terms of this standard. A 1499 system is the equivalent of an automation system and it contains one or more applications. Here on the side in the System Explorer, we see a system with two applications. Each application contains a network of function blocks. Developers call these application function block networks and they're part of the system. A system configuration is also part of the system. It shows the hardware configuration with devices and the communication. The main window in the middle contains the graphical editor. On the bottom left, you can find an outline that is navigable. And on the bottom, you can see the properties view that shows all properties of the currently selected item, depending on the selection. Here, you can easily edit the elements. Fordiac is a development environment that is based on the open source Eclipse platform. Our tool, just like the Eclipse IDE, is comprised of many different views and can be arranged flexibly. Function blocks are fully encapsulated and they do not support global variables. They are only executed when a trigger arrives at the respective event input. They are the red pins. Function block has an interface with a variable number of inputs and outputs. There are uh, event interface pins and data interface pins. Function blocks can be aggregated into a sub-application. These sub-applications are a means of hierarchically structuring a control application. Their graphical representation resembles the one of function blocks. We can open sub-applications or view their content in many possible ways. We can either double-click on the sub-application in the graphical editor, or we double-click the sub-application in the tree, or we expand the sub-application and show its context, show it in the context of the surrounding application. Sub-applications can be typed or untyped. In our Fordiac project, we have a type library where all types, function block types and sub-application types are contained. This is an untyped sub-application. We know that because there is no type name in the center of the block, unlike the function block type name here. Untyped sub-applications are mainly a mechanism for structuring an application. They can be easily edited via the property window here. Function block types or sub-application types can be instantiated in the application. Please note that all names in a 4099 model must be valid identifiers. The rules are equivalent to programming languages where names need to start with a letter and only contain alphanumeric characters. No special characters are allowed and names cannot start with a number. In Fordiac, we can create new sub-applications and delete existing hierarchy levels. Sub-application can also be typed and saved in the type library. Their name corresponds with the type name as seen in the middle of the block, the, the sub-application type name. We can also untype a sub-application that was previously typed so that it only exists in this instance. 
Moreover, there are more ways of introducing new blocks. One way is to simply drag and drop uh, from the type library into the editor. Same can be done from the type navigator here, from the palette on the right, or we can double click into the background, type the name of the function block type that we are interested in and selecting it. Furthermore, after a double click, we can select the button here to insert a block via the menu. One could also use the feature link with editor in the system explorer here by clicking the double arrow. Then the currently open file in the editor is always highlighted inside the system explorer. Thank you for listening to this video and I hope you have fun using 4 IDE.